Hey folks, just a few important notes here this afternoon. Let's jump right into it. A couple days ago, there was an M-class solar flare on the departing limb from the sunspots heading towards the far side. It rated between M3 and M4 class and did produce a CME, but due to its position, did not eject plasma towards the Earth. Now, there was a comment on that video I've been seeing more and more. Get this. They said, No, Ben, you're wrong. It was an X-flare. See the X shape in the light? It's clearly an X-flare. Good God. First, I want to know who on the internet is telling people this stuff. Second, the shape of the light signature on SDO is not how we measure or rate solar flares. That's what the energetic X-ray emission measurement is for. It has nothing to do with the light appearance on satellites. It is about the power of the energy released by the flare. So, someone's going to need to amend that and stop saying that. Next, we discussed this on the live stream last night, but it's worth visualizing. While it is true, you only need to know about the excursion timelines to see the pattern. Knowing that the peak field strength occurs in the middle of the excursion events completes the puzzle. That was the Mesopotamian brick story from a couple days ago. Not surprisingly, the magnetic field of Earth peaks in strength about halfway through the excursion mid-cycles. Which brings us to this morning's story, one of the three geomagnetic studies we shared, which had a partial focus on an ancient weak point in the field about 80,000 years ago, little more. Folks, while it is harder to peg these events the further back in time you go, which is why many of the older mini-excursions have not been officially recognized, this cycle is pretty darn solid. Every 12,000 years we have a major excursion, with the mini-versions in between on the 6,000-year marks. Of course, all of this lines up to us being due again now, and of course, we are seeing the magnetic field changing once again. It is worth noting that the 96,000 years ago event has only been published once, so I can't call it official even though I'm pretty sure it counts. And before that, just past 100,000 years ago, that was the famous Blake excursion, which was a darn terrible event. What's most important to know is that all these new studies keep confirming and adding to the certainty that this cycle exists. The magnetic field is fading now, the magnetic poles are moving and Earth becomes more vulnerable by the week. Excursion expected in the 2040s, so enjoy this time while we still have a modern world to enjoy. I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.